brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Jennifer is with us in Austin, Texas. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Good. Good. How can we help? Um, I wanted to find out. I have been looking for a house for about nine years, and I found one, but it's kind of a flipper, and it's about $2 million. So I didn't know if it would be wise in our situation. Okay. Let's just back up. Looking for a house for nine years is weird. Let's start with that. Okay. We would love to build, but here in Texas, they do not license contractors. So it's like almost impossible to manage a project here. So I kind of have to just remodel something and hope that it's, you know, we've got pretty good bones and the property's good. So um, we bought why, does that, why does it take nine years to discover you need a general contractor to build a house? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we... Um, I, I, I won't want, I do not want to build a house here because okay. I, I, I'm in the, I'm in that industry, but I don't want to have to manage a project and their contractors here are, they, they're not licensed. So it's really hard to, they don't license general contractors in Texas. No, I, no, Google it. It's insane. Really? I don't, I don't really work in Texas. No, it's kind of like the wild, wild west of construction. I don't even go into tall buildings here. If they're more than two floors, I won't go in them. <laughs> So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's no, that's not that's not general that. contractor <laughs> licensing. That's engineering, and that's also weird. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So you wanna you you wanna build a you wanna buy a house for two million dollars that you have to fix up, and then you're gonna flip yeah, it. Yeah, but then I really love it? the land. No, no, I'm just saying like I it's not a flipper. Flip it, then, just, if you're not gonna yeah. flip it, it's just you're yeah, buying a house that needs a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like flipper conditions. <laughs> Yikes. Why do you want to buy yeah. this property then? Do you the have the money? The property is beautiful. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. I'm not sure. Because the way we've always purchased houses and before before would be completely different than this purchase. We've always saved enough cash where we just did the tip so we wouldn't do a jumbo loan. We'd do whatever the maximum was. Like our first house was like four seventeen. I think now it's up to like five hundred and something for like before you go to a jumbo loan. And then we put cash down and then do a fifteen year mortgage and do twenty percent down. And that's the way we've always bought our houses but this one just because i don't think we have enough i i think the payment would be too high because the interest rates are so high right now that we wouldn't i think we would have to do like a 20 or 30 year mortgage oh so do you, you're, we, what you're saying is you just can't afford the house well, I, I, that's it's okay I'm, to say I'm that wondering. out loud jennifer yeah, it's a two million dollar house <laughs> i know well, that, well we yeah. What is your well, income? Normally, What's the household income? Together, our base salaries is about five twenty. Okay. And the thing is, the reason we don't have a lot of money saved is because normally we don't work both at the same time. But just since I've been working a lot more the last few years, I've enjoyed it. So now I'm working all the time. What and are now you doing? Working. Um, I do global architecture. So. Um, Architecture and interior design, not real. I do work for an engineering, an IT company, but uh, it's construction engineering. So I, I do, but I work for an IT company <laughs> building their, their yeah, facilities all over the U.S. Okay. Or the, the so you, your household income mm -hmm. is $525,000, and why yeah. can't you put a $2 million be, be, house on a 15-year? Because we've really been living beyond our, well, not beyond our means. We live within our means, but like we spent a lot of our savings. Like my husband took two years off during COVID and we remodeled our house and we just did, I bought a, I bought a house for my daughter. We just like spent a lot of money and we normally have more savings. I'm exhausted. And we don't have, what was that? I said, I'm tired. This is, y'all. You've been running a million wow. miles an hour with nothing to show for it. Oh my gosh. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so we, well, we've never really had this much income steadily. We've had it for the last few years. Okay, uh, if you've had COVID, it for two years or more, you can qualify for a 15-year mortgage and you can afford a 15-year mortgage. Well, I think we could. No, I know that we could qualify for a 15-year mortgage. Then we you can, can afford it. for that. No, no. Okay, sorry. I Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I just don't want our house payment to be that high because I know my husband will be against that. So that's why I want to do like a 30 until the 20 or a 30 until the interest rates are lower. No, you take I out a 15 and when the interest rates are lower, you refinance. Oh, and if you're not willing to admit that you're buying a $2 million house to your husband, you shouldn't buy a $2 million house. Um, so I can't make this not be, not be $2 million. There's not a technique for that. It's $2 million. And, um, 
I, I got an, I got a feeling your husband doesn't want to do a $2 million fixer upper either. So I think there's probably more going on and you've kind of gotten this romantic idea that this land is beautiful and it makes this whole project worthwhile. Um, I, I don't know if you guys together want to sit down and look at the trouble and the pain that doing a remodel is going to be that you're going to live in, which is way different than doing one that you're not going to live in. That's a lot of pain. It's a lot of heartache. It's like building a house except worse. Um, you know, remodels are just horrid. And uh, I've done a bunch of them. And they're just, even when you're not going to live in them, they're a pain in the butt. It's easier to push it down and start again. Um, and, and then um, emotionally easier for sure. If you guys want to endure the pain of that, you have the financial wherewithal to do it, and you're willing to accept the reality of the payment that a $2 million loan takes on, both of you, you and your husband, then go forward. But I got a feeling that there's in that, in those guidelines I just gave you that you all are going to run into all kinds of trouble and you just, you're wanting somebody to tell you, you can't afford it. Um, I think you can afford it. I just don't think you want to afford it. That's what I heard. What'd you hear? Well, I'm hearing a lot of stress and I don't know that this $2 million mortgage is going to alleviate any of that. And so they Uh need to simplify their life get their act together, figure out how to control the money that they're bringing in. But I would pause on this decision. It does not sound like they're close to it's alignment. Just all over the place. Like caf- yeah. caffeine I, And there's involved. also, I don't know, million dollar houses in Austin that are great. So maybe we could start there. It doesn't have to be the two million or bust. Yeah. So I think we have to back out and find out what all of the options are before we get starry eyed at one. Yeah. Um, and I'll just go ahead and throw in here too, um, just, just to be straight with you, Jennifer. The idea that everyone in Texas that lives in a home or has a three-story building is incompetent and all of them are about to fall in because they don't license GCs is absurd. Okay? Obviously, there's quality buildings in Texas that are not going to fall in. Um, And obviously, I did not know they didn't license GCs, but that doesn't change anything for me. I've been in a bunch of houses in Texas that are wonderful properties. and You're so brave. Yeah. Yeah. I'm brave. You went to the third floor and everything. I did. I've been to the 16th floor. I mean, it's scary. You know, not not in a house. But I mean, golly, come on, girl. Seriously.